Good night, Wes. Good night, Vince. I will honestly say that sex with an older man is better. And that is something you don't get from somebody your age. They don't really care or they just assume they're doing it right. And women are very complex creatures. I'm 54, going to be 55 in February. I'm 24. I just turned 24 in September. And we do have a 30 year age gap. We've been together almost three years now. We met on Match.com. We got together a couple months later and we really hit it off. I was attracted to her blonde hair. She had a beautiful smile. She used the word Disney in her profile and I thought, well, she has to be a Disney fan or basically everything is off because I'm kind of a Disney aficionado. So we're entering Fantasyland. It's our last day here at the happiest place on earth. I never was attracted to guys my age, like my age within like one to two, even five year difference. Well, my ex-boyfriend is actually older than Vince. Mm. I can smell it from here. This was my first age gap relationship that I've had, which I never really thought that it would be a long-term thing. There were some things in my marriage that were lacking. I actually felt that a younger girl would be able to provide those for me. I didn't realize that I was going to fall so hard for Wes. Wesley has never done anything by the book. She likes older men. Uh, I was like, okay, it's her thing. <laughs> it took a while for him to grow on me. He's uh, certainly got a different sense of humor. And, you know, the whole Disney thing, whatever works for them, you know. Here we go. Straws of Bosco. What the heck, dude? This is the crew. Excuse oh. our coffee table. Our daughter is the biggest thing that's changed me. <laughs> Rosalie is my first child. I've always wanted a little girl and, uh, you know, since Vince is a significant amount older than me, I, you know, the possibility of us having more children is very slim, so I'm very happy that she's a girl. Good morning, Rosalie. We had our bath. She's so cute all the time. Tried the gray stuff, it's delicious. Don't believe me, it's delicious. Vince does have another child. He's 26, so he is two years older than me. My son, I think, is uncomfortable, but I don't know if it's so much about the age gap is as that it's uh, the fact that, you know, I divorced his mom. Love you, Wes. Love you, Vince. We had unprotected sex for about two years, and then magically... I was pregnant, so it was more of a miracle thing. Uh, yeah, we did have unprotected sex for quite a while. Jingle balls. Sweater on, Piper loves my balls. She wants to jump on them. I think the sex life is, is great. Um, Wesley is very, uh, she's very intimate, she's very loving. Oh my God, Vince! I'm bleeping that out. She treats me like a man. She. She makes sure that my all of my needs are met. She also makes me feel loved, which is very important. Sex is sex, but sex without love isn't really a connection. Sex is better with an older man. Why? Because they are so willing to please somebody 
that's so much younger than them. They want to make sure they cover all areas. I have somebody that is constantly guiding me in the right direction. If I need advice, I don't really need to go to my mom. Um, I can go to Vince. I have somebody there to constantly provide me support on such a higher level than I would get if I was with somebody my own age. My next door neighbor took me to a White Sox game when I was 12. I'd never, never been there before. Of course, it was South Side of Chicago, and I really enjoyed going. It was fun, and they were really cheap tickets, like two dollars to get in. I don't know anything about sports. So. <laughs> I kind of feel like I'm a mentor, which I didn't feel like I was before. I actually feel like I can teach and bring items into Wesley's life that I have gone through in my experiences to somewhat make her a better person. And you have to be careful because you're saying things to a younger person and you can't, you don't want to make them feel um, less than you, not like you're their father, not like you're p their parent. Uh, you have to be on the same level. Hi. <laughs> Having the age gap and knowing that I have um, a young wife and then a very young uh, daughter at my age. The depressing part for me is the fact that I won't be able to see her grow up and maybe she won't, I won't be able to see her have children. I think, especially when you have a child, how long do I really have with this person? It's not set in stone, you will have a certain amount of time, which I learned from losing my father at a young age. Wesley gets a lot of her character from her father. It was devastating when he died. Troy passed away May 18th of 2006. I woke up and found him dead. And um, as you can imagine, that was extremely traumatic. Well, she will tell you that it that it has affected her relationship. She'll look straight at you and say, I have daddy issues. And she's, I've heard her say it quite a few times. So Wes, I'm interested in some of your childhood memories, since uh, it did seem like you were here many times, uh, several times a year. I used to come here with my dad and my mom and my brother. Every year we would go Christmas shopping here. My dad was a landscaper, so he loved the grounds. Growing Rosalie is what our future is. We are laser focused on making sure that she is brought up in a loving family. We want to show her that two people, no matter what they look like, no matter who they are, if they have an age gap or not, it's all about building our relationship. And that's what our future is going to hold. My vision of a soulmate is having a child with somebody and raising them and being together and he is that person for me. Thank you.